Ivan Ayer, at 52, Manitoba's most successful and accomplished painter. For 25 years, his art has challenged and pleased art watchers across the province and across the country. He has remained devoted to landscape and figure painting throughout his career. Next week, the Brian Melichenko Gallery opens a mini retrospective of his paintings, drawings and sculpture dating back to 1957. Most of this startlingly original work has never been seen before. But while it's new to us, it remains fresh and personal to the artist. What was the year that Kennedy was assassinated? 63, 63 I think. 63. I remember in 63 uh, painting, I think it was Man Alone. You know, and so when I look at that group of paintings and, and Man Alone, uh, I have that feeling, sort of that shiver run up my back uh, with the news, you know, coming across the radio of that, of that event. And so it, it makes me relive a lot of those experiences of time, at that time when I, when I look at them now. It, it seems to me that you've never run out of things to paint because your art seems to feed your art, and I wonder if that's a conscious strategy. Well, subject matter is, uh, is all around us, of course. There's no lack of it. Uh, I think the problem arises maybe when one tries to make meaning out of events. If you don't try and make meaning out of events, but just uh, put objects with objects as each requires one another, and that, that meaning you only know when you're in the middle of the process. Um, so that's that's indefinite i mean that that there's no end to that uh, process ivan air is primarily a painter but throughout his long career he's been attracted to sculpture the melnichenko exhibition includes a collection of human figures painted plaster men and women who embody air's strange and remarkable vision i think originally probably I intended to be a sculptor um, but when i got involved in drawing i got distracted from sculpture and into the painting world. And I, I still love it. And uh, I find that, that it's a good physical break. In a way, it's almost a relaxation because it's less abstract than painting. It occupies the same space that we sit in. So it's, uh, it's quite a different matter. You know, I find it very refreshing. Is there a time when you were more happy with your work, or, or is that time now? The work I'm working on, of course, is the most preoccupying and the most real, in a sense, but um, it changes. Uh, I can look back at earlier work and find it very immediate. Um, and I think that's because I was, I was not at all in any way um, academic or theoretical, that it was... Uh, a gut feeling, um, and I still work that way. It's a very rich life. I get a sense you're completely satisfied now in 1987. Yeah, I, I feel very free. I have felt free in my work for, for many years, you know, free of all, uh, all connections to the art world, in a sense. I don't go to many exhibitions, and I feel bad sometimes because I have friends, you know, and acquaintances who are having exhibitions, and I don't get out because I'm just so involved with, with the different aspects of my, of my world that it just needs as much time <laughs> as I can give it. Ivan Ayer's exhibition continues at the Brian Melnichenko Gallery through December the 11th. <laughs>